Hi friends, uh, this is Rajesh Rai Patehe. Now I want to do another uh, LOD from the top 15 LODs provided by the Tableau. Now see here, w what is the same? New customer acquisition. Now it, 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 it is clearly showing here that what how, what are the number of customers that acquired over the period. Now if you see this, give it a time. It happens with us. Now, when you see this, see the acquisition of customers with North America is vigorous of all for over a period, and then it flattened for a period, and then there was an increase, and again the increase was not as fast as compared with this. So the new customer acquisition which happened in here it slowed down. Now, if you see this orange, this APAC. Now after a period it has flattened out of all these three which are EU, uh, LATAM and uh, uh, what is the blue, e APAC, these three. Even these if you see, see th this is the trend how the customers are acquired over a period. So this is what uh, the, this LOD is talking about. Now when you want to represent that LOD here, see first when do you consider a customer as acquired? Now, when, when is a customer required? Now, let me drag my customer name in here. And I'll drag order date. This is a small technique whenever you want to go for uh, making the, going for exact data or whichever you want to call to continuous and make it a discrete. Rather than doing beside a dimension, just drag in, put it in the other, which is if it is in rows, put it in the column so that visual, it, it, it will not take time to render the visualization. Now if you see, see, Aaron Bergman, Berg, Bergman, he's done three sales or he's done three, he, he bought, he ordered three times. Now, and Aaron Hawking, he ordered these many times. But when is a customer treated as acquired? He is treated as acquired when he does his first purchase. So I want every customer's first purchase. Now how do we get a first purchase? Now we clearly say, see, when in all these, whichever is the minimum, minimum date, min of date, whichever it is, we will get that uh, on that date. But again, if I drag this order date again, and I will convert into exact date or a day, doesn't matter whatever I do and I'll convert it into discrete. Now when I'm putting it in here and I'm trying it to convert it to measure as minimum, this is not happening. Now what do I want to do? See this is where you're thinking about LOD should start. What What, what is the requirement here? Irrespective of whatever might be the order date that a customer is having, I want to have only the minimum order date which is which is the minimum then only the customer is said to be acquired right so i want my minimum of order date here so what i'll do this is not helping me now i'll go for calculation field now what i'll say is first or the date of customer okay here what I say fixed where I, I want to fix I want to fix it at the customer level so I say customer name now what do I want to fix order date what order date do I want min of order date because if I say min I'll get this data right so order date now I close this now see this this is again another type of LOD which directly goes into the dimensions because see here if you have this field if it is on a measure then it will go into the measure field but here as it is on a dimension that to that is a date field then this will go into the uh, the, 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 that will go into the dimensions field so when I see when I say apply you will see the field in dimensions not in the measures okay now i am again dragging this in here and i am going to make it as a day exact for exact day and i am going to make it discrete and i am going to drag it in here. now see irrespective of what the order date is 
what the order did the customer is having he is always being shown the, here the duplication is because of the granularity here now in the other sheet I will go I will just drag customer name and then I will drag uh, first which is the one that I created uh, whatever it is both are the same I just created it and it here I will just drag in here I will make it day I will make it as discrete and then I'll again drag it in here. Now see, he is having the minimum, whatever it, whatever is the minimum of order day. This is the day where a customer, whatever the customer you have, this is the day where he ordered for the first time. So this is his first order day. So whenever whenever a customer is ordered, this customer is said to be acquired on the date 18 Feb 2015 and Alan Barnes is acquired on the date 16 November 2015 so now I have to show these customers right now what I'll do is I'll take order date and I want at the day level right so I'm going to take the day okay now I'm taking this customer first order date so don't get confused I might have uh, this, this is the same formula okay okay now I got my year of order date here but now what I want is I want day wise and uh, rather than taking day wise what we will do is I'll again drag this let me drag this this in here and what I'll take is I'll take measure it I am converting into measure and I'm counting see I'm counting every customer on certain given day now see on in 2015 on certain day what is this day 20th Jan I got four new customers and after that I got two new customers so this is a every days but if you see in this LOD if you see in this LOD here here they are giving accumulation of the uh, customers so when I am going these are the first day how many customers that is added to second day that is added to third day and so on so now I have to get a accumulation of this when you want to get accumulated field then what we will do we will go for a running total so I am going for a running total now here you have the numbers on this and date on this so I am just rotating this now see this is my customers acquired if I see as a company in total this is how my customers are acquired now if you see here there is a clear pattern in here now I think this is might be US sales and US uh, the period the big Christmas, Christmas New Year that period is very lucrative see that is why whenever it is approaching December this, there is a spike in sales even in here it is whenever it is approaching December and Jan between there is a spike in sales even in here it is the same so this is the trend we observe okay when I, whenever I am having my customers I am looking at the customers that I have acquired there, there is a spike in my number of customers at the uh, uh, near the new year Christmas and new year so I might I might try to get more customers if I go for more offers at this time and this is there is a slump in sales and I should find how to f get new customers even in here so that I will I will get more customers so this will uh, I allow, uh, help you analyze the trend how the customers are new customers you are getting into your company so that you can analyze it and you can uh, make um, uh, create offers or to create new programs to acquire customers where there is a low sales this is one example what well, how big bazaar started wednesday sales so the offer on wednesday is given based on such uh, similar kind of analysis they have seen all the days are getting good number of sales but wednesday is having a slumping sales or less sales so that is why they offered wow witnesses or something where you will get uh, good offers on witnesses to pull customers on witnesses okay no nothing i'll just drag my uh, there here you had uh, the re these co continents wise now here, here i'm just dragging region i'm putting it in color now if you see i'll just hide this now if you see on almost all the regions the slump is there the slump that is the slump is seen when it is near the near the Christmas or New Year 
Now, see here, the region, the region wise, if you see this region, whatever, West region, West region is having the highest customer acquisition when it is compared to East, Central or South. So, why is South down? South is having less, he is acquiring less customer. So, now you can concentrate on South and see how to get more customers to the South. So such an analysis, such an analysis will help and uh, these, these whenever you are majorly like sales, insurance, uh, banking, I think it is this, but sales and insurance, these type of analysis are done very frequently. Okay, again, see, uh, again I will just give you an overview. Whenever I am looking at this, when, how do I fix the, uh, I get an idea that I should go to an LOD. See here, here I am getting different order dates the customers but I want a minimum order rate and that should not change at any given period that should not change so that is why I will go for my fixed LOD so that it will not change so where is this first order yeah. these two calculated fields are the same don't worry see I am saying I want the, uh, to fix at the, at, the, at the level of customer name what do I want to fix I want to fix the minimum order rate how we got the solution okay so I'll be posting the other videos also with a clear explanation on how to uh, how to analyze your scenario how to know when you should have a fixed calculation and then how to approach what should be your approach towards it okay so this is Rajesh or Raipati again and uh, this is my YouTube uh, channel uh, if you think anyone will be, anyone needs this video for their clarity on LODs, please share to them. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And thank you. Thank you for the, thank you for your time.